And now we're moving on to our next segment, and this one is called Vijay wants to know about you. Let's take a look at her on the screen, please. Oh yes. What could this be about? So this is a segment where Jail will become your counselor. Okay, so we're gonna read um, your concerns. Some of you, if not all of you, you know, you guys wrote in your concerns and we're gonna talk about it together. We receive them in advance, obviously. So we're gonna read it and then um, we'll ask, you know, what you think. Because he was the one who handpicked these concerns as well. We picked a total of five. Um, so let's get to it. Let's take a look at the first one. On the, on the screen, please. Okay, our first concern comes from Manilin Bartolome, who is in Balcony. Dash two dash seventeen. Where are you? Okay, I see a glow stick that said. Wait, oh, that's a lot of glow sticks actually. But balcony is upstairs, no? Okay, all right. She's there up there. Madeline is um, on top there on the second floor. Okay, let's take a look at what her concern is. Hi, Joe. Any advice for someone who is working and also studying at the same time to fulfill her dreams? I am working to help provide for my family, but I also decided to study again in order to pursue my true passion, which is making films and writing stories. But sometimes it's getting hard and I'm doubting if I should still continue or just stick to working. Oh, uh -huh. who's going Oh, but I, oh, a lot of a lot of um, your fans here can relate to this one. So basically, she's working for her family and she is also studying for her dreams. What would you say to Madeline? Oh, 일단 너무 어렵네요. 어렵다는 말 자체가 정확한 이제 집안의 어떤 환경을 모르니까. Una, una, me yo imagino un poco, da ir, indico en poner el lama con algo en situación, una familia de niños. Pero aquí hay una razón de que no lo sé. Pero en San Paga, ahí hay una cosa bien enseñada, una asegurada. Tuzarra, no, no, no. Puizia, no, 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 at things that you cannot see. And So I hope you, I hope that serves as inspiration for you to do what you want. All right? Palpakan niyo tayo siya, guys. Good luck. Good luck. We'd love to hear how you do. All right. Let's move on to our second concern, which is coming from Claire Molina, who is in Balcony-1-5. Where are you? Hi, Claire. As we try to locate her, let me read her concern. Claire says, I know you've worked hard on your craft, so I don't know if you've experienced getting burned out or really tired of work. For context, I work as a healthcare worker, and because of COVID, work has been extra difficult the past two years, and lately I've been thinking of just wanting to be happy. If you did feel tired with your work, how or what did you do to find that spark again to continue what you're doing? And if you haven't, I want to ask what you are doing to always find enjoyment in your work despite all the hardship that it entails. And lastly, in the future, the near future, do you plan to do anything else other than acting? Thank you so much for answering if you do, and he will, Claire. Oh, uh, the I think all people Um, 
sa tingin ko naman po yung burnout, dumarating po siya sa lahat ng mga tao. Ibig sabihin, sobra po kayo napapagod. I think resting is an option that we also have to think about. We don't have to always keep on running. And once you rest, you'll get to see the fun of your work once again. Pero kung hindi mo makita, maghanap ka na ng ibang trabaho. Sige po, isipin nyo na lang ngayong araw mag-asawa tayo. 